are we going? Thermopolis. Have you been to Thermopolis before? Yes. It's kind of like going home? Yeah. How do you feel about I it? I like that. I'm excited. Alaska for us was not the last frontier, it was just the beginning. In leaving Hyder we were a mixture of sadness and joy. We had reached the starting point of a dream of ours, to drive from Alaska to Argentina. Leaving everything we knew behind and setting out in our truck camper from Florida just months before, we reached the Arctic Ocean eager for what was to come. Over the course of the next few weeks, we traveled through Alaska, meeting people who would become a part of our story. We experienced beautiful places beyond imagination. And we saw wildlife we only knew from zoos and television shows. Now, in leaving Hyder, we were sad to leave Alaska behind. But Argentina was to the south, and the only way to reach Argentina was to leave Alaska. So we drove the remaining portion of the Cassiar Highway and made our way back to the lower 48. The drive was euphoric for us. We didn't speak much. We just enjoyed the final scenery and kept to our own thoughts of what we had experienced in the course of the previous four months. When we reached Washington, we took a few days to decompress. We found the Purple Haze Lavender Farm a hospitable host for a few days to simply enjoy the quiet beauty of the countryside. We watched bees and birds enjoy the purple fields and even picked our own refreshing souvenirs. Then we headed to the Pacific coast to smell the salty air and bathe in the sunshine that we so missed from our days of growing up in Florida. Ruby Beach, on the western edge of Olympia National Park, offered much by way of exploration at low tide. The tidal pools were full of colorful critters that inspired our imagination about all the beauty the world has to offer. These would be our last days together in the region. The next morning, Lindsay was scheduled to fly out of Seattle back to Florida. August 15th, and it's early in the morning. Lindsay's flying back to Jacksonville. Leaving. Got a flight at 545. On a jet plane. Mm -hmm. Dog and I aren't too thrilled, but <laughs> So it goes. So what are you doing in Jacksonville? I, uh, well I, oh, I gotta get my room at Cade. And I'm getting that tomorrow. And yep. Go see the doctor about the, the GI yep. stuff, make sure everything's in track. And uh, uh, we are gonna go drive to the Seattle airport, drop her off, and then my sister flies in a couple hours later, and then pick her up. And Lauren and I will drive to Denver over the next couple days exploring as we go and Lindsay flies back in exactly a week. Uh oh. Smile. Hi. Hi. Hey Pop. Oh Everson. my goodness. Everson. Come here. Everson. Oh Evie, gosh. come here. Plenty of time to catch up. Oh. Plenty of time to catch up. Hey. That's it? That's all you got? What's up? I'm in Seattle. 
It sucks. <laughs> yeah. Seattle sucks. Wait till we try to get out of here. Oh my gosh, dog. Hello, beautiful. We found amber waves of grain as fall was settling in. And we discovered beautiful places in Idaho so far off the beaten path nobody even knew to look. The Purple Mountains, Majesty, and Grand Teton National Park renewed our sense of awe. But it was on to Denver, where my sister and Lindsay would pass each other in flight, and Lindsay would rejoin Everest and I to continue on our journey. Everest. Everest and I are on our way to pick up Lindsay at the Denver airport. And of course, there's traffic, accident, and Jiffy Lou people took uh, took their sweet time getting done, so I am late, which is, I guess, good. She'll be there when we pull up, and I know the pup's gonna go all kinds of crazy for her. Do you see her? <laughs> Do you see your mama? Do you see your mama? Check the hat. Check the hat. Okay, I gotta get in. I gotta get in. I gotta get in. Hold on. Oh, it's heavy. <laughs> Hold on, let me in. Let me in. Oh, wow. Uh, uh, uh. Welcome to Denver. Uh, oh, okay. Hi. Hi. Uh, <laughs> Hi! Welcome back to Call it to Wander. Back to Thermopolis for a few weeks or maybe even a month to try to determine the next steps in our calling to drive from Alaska to Argentina. We had seen so much and done so much that had opened our eyes to the possibilities in life. But we had also come across such great adversity that we knew our story would pause. If only for a moment, so we could listen to what God was telling us about our calling. We were road weary. We were broke. We missed family and friends. We knew our truck needed some substantial work. And we wanted to wean Lindsay off her intravenous medication before we attempted the several year long journey to Argentina. So Thermopolis became our new home for the time being. And we were welcomed into this home for however long we would stay. While we waited, planned, and prepared for the next chapter, of our call to wander.